this is Tim. I'm glad you came back today to hear more about my Christmas adventure with Jump Jump of Holiday House. Well, yesterday I told you all about Santa Claus's story of how the Ice Queen, who rules the frozen country, had come down one day and kidnapped the reindeer who pulled Santa Claus's sleigh. Without the reindeer, there could be no presents delivered on Christmas Eve. It's just a minute. I'll tell you how we laid our plans to save the reindeer and Christmas Day. sitting around the fire in Santa Claus's big red house. Merry Holiday was there, and so was Sleepy Slim the Lion, snoring on the floor. And Jump Jump, the little elf who's only three inches tall, was jumping up and down. He had just jumped into the room, and he said, Archie Puddley is coming. Merry Holiday. Archie Puddley is coming. Oh, Archie Puddley's coming in, Santa Claus. He'll help us decide what to do. Where's the poet, Jump Jump? I don't know. You don't know? But we need him. He may not do us much good, Mary Holiday. He'll be making up poems all the time. And what we need is a man of action, not a man of words. Oh, Tim, if Archie Pogley were in the room, he'd tell you that some famous man said that. <laughs> and he'd be right, too. But, Tim, the famous man who said that wasn't always right. Why not, Santa Claus? Because we do need men of words, Tim, as you find out when you grow up to be a man. You know, it's often the man of words who inspires the man of action. What does inspire mean, Santa Claus? <laughs> what does inspire mean, Jump Jump? Yes. Well, it means... Uh, well, it means... Oh, how shall I explain it? <laughs> Merry Holiday, you're my secretary, and you know every word in the dictionary. How would you explain what inspire means? Well, uh, Santa Claus, I think I'd say that inspire means to, well, to cause somebody to want to do something good so much that the somebody has to do it. Like if somebody tells me what a big guy is picking on a little guy, that makes me want to go help the little guy so much that I do go help him, even if I know the big guy's going to whip me. <laughs> That's right, Tim. <laughs> exactly right, Tim. In that case, you'd be inspired to be a man of action. <laughs> I'm inspired, Merry Holiday. Oh, inspired to do what, Jump Jump? Inspired to jump. <laughs> <laughs> inspired to jump. <laughs> You're always inspired to jump, jump, jump. You're always jumping. Yes, he's always jumping. But where is Archie Pogley? Go in and out the window. Go oh. in and out oh. the window. Here's Archie Pogley oh. now. Oh. And he's Goodbye. coming in through the window. <laughs> in the window. <laughs> yes, this time he's coming in through the window. Last time at Holiday House, he came in through the door. But he came in backwards. <laughs> oh, hello there. Hello there, Santa Claus. Hello. Hello, I'm a clown. I'm a jolly old clown and I never... Hey, but, of course, you know that I'm a clown, don't you, Santa Claus? <laughs> yes, I do. How are you, Archie Pogley? You're looking chipper. I'm looking what, uh, Santa Claus? Chipper? What does chipper mean, Merry Holiday? Oh, Jump Jump, you know what chipper means. It means gay. Ah, Merry Holiday now, 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 now. Chipper no? means, uh, well, 
Jump, jump, you know, you know uh, what a chip jump. is. Uh, yeah, a chip of wood, yes. Wow. Well, then if I look chipper, I look more like wood than I would look like wood if I could look like wood. Uh, say, <laughs> what does chipper mean, Mary Holiday? <laughs> it means you look what you are, Archie Pogley. You look gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's the toy making business, Santa Claus? It isn't long till Christmas. Uh, not so good, Archie Pogley. There may be no Christmas, Archie Pogley. What? As a famous man once said, what? The Ice Queen has stolen my reindeer. Not dear little Dasher. Wow. Not spry little Benson. Wow. Not dashing little Colin. Wow. Oh, the reindeer, Archie Yes, Jump Jump is right, Archie Pogley. She kidnapped all the reindeer. And without them, I can't visit all the children on Christmas Eve. Well, use your aeroplane, Santa Claus. Oh, the airplane is fine for the little visits I pay my friends in the towns and stores before Christmas Eve. But it takes the real thing, my sleigh and my faithful reindeer, to carry enough presents for everybody on Christmas Eve. We'll bring the reindeer back, Santa Claus. Oh, no one can get near the Ice Queen's palace where she's hidden my reindeer. Why not, Santa Claus? Because there's a circle of blue fire around the palace. Why? Why, so that if anyone tries to go through the circle, he's turned to ice at once. Why? To keep people from getting in the palace, of course, Jump Jump. But how can fire turn you into ice, Santa Claus? Fire is hot. Ice is cold. Oh, red fire is hot. Blue fire is cold. You can feel it in the ice. Oh, yes, I remember now. You know, Tim, how when you hold a piece of ice in your hand, at first it feels cold, and then all of a sudden it starts to burn like fire. Yes, and then you have to drop it. Yes. And that's the blue fire in it. Oh, if you look at a piece of ice, you can see it. Uh, but I can't decide whether to attempt the long trip to the frozen country and try to find my reindeer or not. If we go by dog sled, we won't get back by Christmas Eve. Well, maybe we could go on the wishing star. Yes, if we all wished hard enough. I'm wishing, Tim. You're wishing, Jump Jump? I'm wishing, too. I'm wishing I were in the toy shop. You're wishing you were in the toy shop? Well... Would uh, you like to see the toy shop, too, Tim? Oh, yes, I would, Santa Claus. I'd sure like to go home and tell all the kids at the orphanage about it. Well, then see it you shall. Come, Tim, come, jump, jump, jump there. <laughs> oh, oh, jump, along. jump, loves your beard, Santa Claus. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, come, Merry Holiday. Come, Archie Pogley. We won't disturb our sleeping friend, Sleepy Slim. <laughs> Do we go through this door, Santa Claus? Yes, yes, that's right. And here's the workshop, Tim. Oh, it was wonderful. I couldn't believe my eyes. Wagons and balls and baseball bats, toy pianos and games, electric trains, scooters and cowboy hats, and everywhere, millions of them, were little lights going on and off, on and off. Oh, it was wonderful, I tell you. Santa Claus's workshop. Santa Claus, what are all the little lights that light your workshop? Oh, those are my friends, the fireflies. Lightning bugs? Yes. I'm glad I'm not a lightning bug. What, Jump Jump? You're glad you're not a lightning bug? Yes, with the light on the wrong end. With the light on the wrong end. Then I could not see where I was jumping. <laughs> then he couldn't see where he was jumping. Only where I'd been. Oh, 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 it is a wonderful toy shop, Santa Claus. Can I try one of those drums, Santa Claus? Oh, of course, Tim, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, jump, jump, you can ride the toy merry-go-round. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Well, there you are. Oh, look, the merry-go-round is just one foot high. The horse is just jump, jump, sign. Oh, that's, <laughs> <fine>. <laughs> that's the sound I love most in all the world. 
children playing with their toys. Well, don't you worry, Santa Claus. You'll hear them playing on Christmas Day. Now, jump, jump. Don't jump off of the merry-go-round onto that symbol. No. Oh, 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 <laughs> there goes Hotty Potty <laughs> trying to catch Jump Jump in a toy shop. That's like trying to catch a grasshopper in a field of hay. <laughs> oh, oh, watch out, Hotty Potty. Oh, there's a stack of junk there. Oh, it's going to fall over. Oh, 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 oh. Get me out of this. Get me out of a drum busted on my head. Excuse me, Archie Pugly. <laughs> Excuse me, but you do look funny with your head sticking through a drum. You look as if you're wearing a Christmas wreath, Archie Pugly. Do I look funny? Oh, well, then good. Anything for a laugh. Well, Santa Claus, to change the subject, where's the surprise, Santa Claus? Where's the surprise? Oh, did I say something about a surprise? Uh, no, well, no, you didn't, but... But, uh, but we'd heard you had a surprise for us, Santa Claus. Yes, we heard Santa Claus. Even I heard Santa Claus. A surprise? <laughs> well, now, uh, could it be the dolls that I've made that look like you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it could be, Santa Claus, it could well, be. here, there in this box, take off that lid. Oh, oh. This doll looks like Sleepy Slam. So it does. So it's night turn and all. <laughs> Red underwear and his nightcap and his yellow mane. He even yawns like Sleepy Slim. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mary Holiday, see? A doll that looks like you. Like me? Oh, Santa Claus, a doll that looks like me. She's even wearing an apron like you wear at Holiday House. Oh, yes, so she is. And here's the clock. Yes, yes, yes. What in the world is that ghastly-looking object? Is is that fearsome thing a doll? That foolish clothes? Well, look at that silly grin. That bright red nose. Those painted eyes. And the hair. Oh, who ever saw blue hair? I have on you. You're wearing blue hair today, Archie Pogley. Your hair is bluebird blue, Archie Pogley. Oh, is it? Well, what a strange coincidence. <laughs> Their doll looks like you, Archie Pogley. Looks like me? This doll looks like me? Well, to be sure it does. And so it does. Oh, anyone should recognize the charming expression. What worldly, intelligent, elegant eyes. Oh, it looks like me. Yes, yes, yes. And for those clothes. Did you ever see a finer suit of clothes? <laughs> I am handsome, aren't I? <laughs> Such a lovely head of hair, as a famous man once said. Thank you. I love you, Santa Claus. <laughs> In fact, everyone was so pleased with the dolls that looked like Sleepy Slim, Mary Holiday, and Archie Pogley that nobody noticed that Jump Jump wasn't saying anything at all. In fact, he'd even stopped jumping. But why Jump Jump had suddenly become so sad? We didn't know until later. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Mm -hmm.